And the victory parade is underway for Manchester United tonight. A victory parade tinged with the sadness that's also a farewell parade. Now, Nick Powell is with me here at the Sky Studios in London. Nick Martin will hear from in just a moment in Albert Square. But if, in case anyone doubted the turnout, Nick, I mean, it's a beautiful spring evening there. There are thousands of people on the streets and apparently the square is full to capacity. Yes, we'll get more on that from Nick in just a second, but uh, you can see the, the speed or otherwise uh, of the progress of uh, the bus and we're quite used to this having covered a lot of these parades over the years. Uh, the theory is that they would be in about seven minutes time with Nick Martin and I would suspect that is somewhat unlikely because it's it's after a horrible day in Manchester as you can see it's a lovely evening so this is you know, this is your last chance if you care about Manchester United or football or indeed hesitate, I use the word with some hesitation history sporting history this is your night to, to come out this, see a phenomenon. This, this, this is your last chance uh, mm. you're not going to see anybody like this again no one is going to do what Sir Alex Ferguson uh, has done again. No one's ever done it. 26 and a half successful years. Hasn't done. There's a guy called Guy Roux who was in charge of Dozier in France for 44 years, but he didn't win loads and loads of titles. There's, there's nobody else in the world like this. This is, this is not just a British phenomenon. Uh, this is unique, hence the, the size of, of the crowd. So, yes, uh, a little bit of sadness, a little bit, I, th I would say, not so much sadness as just uh, they're intrigued. Will, will the, the future be the same? How different will the future be? It will be, it will be different, but, but how different? Uh, will, will United carry on as a successful club uh, or will others catch up? The, the chance is there for others to catch up.